magsiluhod ang lahat. Panalangin para sa pambansa at panglokal na halalan. Manalangin tayo upang sa papalapit na pambansa at panglokal na halalan ay tunay na maghari ang kalooban ng Diyos na siyang gumagabay sa lahat ng bansa. Sama-sama nating idalangin, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pamimilit, pananakot, karahasan at terorismo. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panloloko, pagsisinungaling at pagbaluktot sa katotohanan. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panunuhol, kasakiman at sabuatan upang makapandaya. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa kawalang muwang sa panlilinlang at makitid na pananaw. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pagbabanta, pananakot at lapastangang pananalita. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Sama-sama nating idalangin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang aming budhi ang siyang gawing tunay na pamantayan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kabutihan ng nakararami ang aming pinakamataas na layunin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang dignidad ng tao ay palagi ang igalang. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kapuspalad at mahihina ay pag-ukulan ng higit na pansin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pangangalaga sa kalikasan ay hindi ipagwalang bahala. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pagkakaisa ay magbigay daan sa landas ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang banal na pagkatakot sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa kapwa ang maging gabay ng mga nagnanais manungkulan sa pamahalaan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. Pastol ng aming kaluluwa at tagapagligtas ng sanlibutan, ang politika ay iyong kaloob sa amin. Isang paanyaya upang maglingkod sa iba at lumago sa kabanalan. Gabayan mo ang politika sa aming bansa, katulad ng paggabay mo sa amin. Nawa ang aming politikal na pakikilahok para sa mga botante at kandidato ay magdulot ng kaluwalhatian sa iyong mahal na ngalan at matulungan din kaming yumabong sa kabutihan, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist. Let us ask God's forgiveness. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people so that Christ, our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may by His likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation and by His equality with you free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them, we gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled with Jerusalem with your teaching, 
and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. Then the God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please stand. believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does, does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy, for the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to Him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon Him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the courage shown by the apostles of Jesus 
after Jesus' resurrection is simply admirable. In yesterday's first reading, we heard that the apostles were imprisoned so that they may be silenced, so that they may stop proclaim, proclaiming Jesus, the risen one. And yet, when they were in prison, God sent an angel to free them. And after freeing them, what did the apostles do? They did not hide. They did not escape. They returned to the temple and continued preaching about Jesus. Kaya nga sila nakulong dahil pinatatahimik sila sa pagpapahayag tungkol kay Jesus na muling nabuhay. Pero nung sila'y nakalaya sa halip na magtago na lamang at iligtas ang sarili, bumalik sila sa templo at nagpahayag ulit. And in our first reading today, the high priest and the Sanhedrin ask them to explain what they have been doing. Pinatatahimik na kayo, ayaw niyong tumahimik. And the apostles said, we must obey God rather than men. Ang sinusunod namin ay ang Diyos, hindi ang sino mang tao. Where does that courage come from? The courage of the apostles come from their faith. And their faith is founded on truth. We heard them say in our first reading today, we are witnesses of these things. We have seen these things. We have experienced these things. We know that this is true. And so no one can stop us from proclaiming about the truth of the risen Lord. This is also something that we heard from Jesus in our gospel today. Jesus talks about being from above. And he said that the one who is from above testifies to what he has seen and heard. Ang ipinapahayag niya ay kung ano ang nakita niya at narinig niya mula sa kanyang ama. And so, Jesus is trustworthy because He proclaims the truth. And the truth that He proclaims is based on what He has seen and heard from His Father. My dear brothers and sisters, faith should be founded on truth. Ang paniniwala ay dapat nakabatay sa katotohanan. For how could you believe something that is not true? Naniniwala ba tayo sa mga bagay na hindi totoo? Naniniwala ba tayo sa mga bagay na walang batayan? Ang paniniwala nakabatay sa katotohanan. Sapagkat ang paniniwala na nakabatay, na hindi nakabatay sa katotohanan ay kahibangan. Sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay, naniniwala tayo sa mga taong alam nating totoo. Kapag may lumapit sa inyo para mangutang at sinasabing sa susunod na buwan babayaran ko, pero alam mo namang hindi totoo, 
dahil naranasan mo nang hindi nagbayad sa oras, maniniwala ka ba? Sa ating pananampalataya, minsan tinatanong tayo ng ibang tao o ng iba, may ibang pananampalataya, e bakit ka ba naniniwala? Bakit ba ang pinaniniwalaan mong Diyos ay iisa pero sinasabi niyong may tatlong persona? Ano ang ating isinasagot? Sinasabi natin ay basta. Yan ang paniniwala namin, igalang mo yan. O sinasabi nating naniniwala ako sa Santisima Trinidad dahil yan ang katotohanan at yan ang naranasan ko sa aking buhay. Kapag sinasabi sa ating, bakit ka ba naniniwala sa Diyos na yan? Eh, ang nangyayari sa buhay natin para namang pinababayaan tayo Totoo bang may Diyos? Sasabihin ba nating ah basta, igalang mo lang ang paniniwala ko, iginagalang ko naman ang paniniwala mo, o sasabihin nating naniniwala ako sa Diyos na pag mapagmahal dahil naranasan ko sa aking buhay kung paano niya akong minamahal. Where do our faith and trust in God founded on? Where do we base our belief in God? And where do we base our belief in other people? Ang ating bang paniniwala ay nakabatay sa katotohanan o nakabatay sa kasinungalingan Madalas kapag tatanungin natin ng ibang tao, bakit ka ba naniniwala dyan? Ah, basta, naniniwala ako. Hindi po basta ang sagot sa bakit. Ang sagot sa bakit ay katotohanan. May we ask God always to open our eyes to the truth so that our faith, our belief, may always be founded on the truth. And faith that is founded on the truth is something that we could be proud of, something that we will always proclaim even when we are asked to stop. May we have the courage like that of the apostles to continue proclaiming about Jesus who rose again from the dead, we will not stop proclaiming Him because we know that is the truth. Please stand. We who receive the divine life of Jesus are called to live fully in accordance with His teachings. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, through its leaders, may take up with courage the challenge of constant conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the state may be committed in its effort to bring quality services to the citizenry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may never close our hearts to those in need, but consciously involve ourselves in Christ's work of healing and reconciling. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray that we may have a peaceful, honest, and credible elections, and that we may elect leaders who uphold the values we hold dear as Christians and Filipinos. Faith in God, truthfulness, integrity, decency, and concern for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are struck with incurable disease may be strengthened in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the healing grace of God may purify those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We pray for the people who need our prayers and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, your only Son took on human life in order to share your divine life with us. Grant us faith to believe firmly in Him so that we may always live responsibly as your children. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. 
And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, from deceptions and lies, and from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof. roof. But, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restored us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.